One of the paradoxical things in statistics is that we can take a sample of 1,000 out of a population of 5,000 or a sample of 1,000 out of a population of 500,000 and have the same margin of error. Well, why does this work? Well, let's first take a look at how a confidence interval for a sample proportion is calculated. We'd have our sample statistic, our sample proportion, plus or minus our critical value times the standard deviation of the statistic. And this portion right here is referred to as our margin of error. So when you hear plus or minus 3% in a news report, it's talking about this calculation right here. So how do we get a margin of error of 3%? Well, a 95% confidence interval critical value is 1.96. And that has to do with a normal distribution having about 95% of the values contained within two standard deviations, or about 1.96 standard deviations. And then the standard deviation of the statistic is the square root of our sample proportion times 1 minus our sample proportion divided by our sample size. Now, if we don't know a sample proportion because we don't have a value from a previous poll to use as an estimate, we would use 0.5 and then 1 minus 0.5 just to make sure that we survey just enough people to guarantee we have a 3% margin of error. So when I solve this for n, and I will leave the mathematics to the viewer. When I solve this for n, I get that n is about 1067. Now, if the true uh, proportion is less than 0.5, let's say 0.4 or 0.3, then we really wouldn't need this many people, but this is the number of people we need to guarantee we have a 3% margin of error. So let's take a look at a demo in Fathom to see also how this works. So here I've got 5,000 different coin flips and you can see I've got a variety of heads and tails and you might be wondering, you know, is this really 50% um, heads, 50% tails? Well, let's take a look at a graph and we can see, um, although it's a little hard to see here, these are actually equal in height. Um, if this was a little bit further down the screen here, you would see that it says there are 2,500 heads or 50% heads and 2,500 tails. So we have exactly 50% heads and 50% tails. Let's actually take a sample from this collection and we'll take a sample of 1,000, not 10, we want 1,000. And we are going to not do replacement um, because we want to pretend that this is like a 5,000 people and we're asking them just their opinion once, you know, your opinion heads or tails. And then let's take a look here. We've got a thousand different outcomes. Let's create a confidence interval based on those outcomes. We're going to estimate the proportion. And so here's our 95% confidence interval. And so this is calculated using that formula that we took, took a look at earlier. And notice that if I take a look at my width of my confidence interval, if I subtract 0.48 from 0.542, we do have about 6.2% as the total width. Or we could say our margin of error is about 3.1%. So that's just 5,000 flips, but what if we had an infinite number of flips? So this is an infinitely large collection. I know it's a bit larger than 500,000, but we're going to sample from this collection. And so in this collection, right now I'm going to sample 1,000 cases. And here I have to use replacement because I want to make sure the proportion of heads, the probability of heads, stays at 50%. So I'm just going to be selecting one or each of these heads or tails each time and doing that a thousand times. So once again, if you take a look here, 
we have a thousand different outcomes from this infinitely large collection. I could have done this again and again and again and again and again. Okay, so let's create a confidence interval for this. And so here, our confidence interval is 0.448 to 0.51. And once again, if you actually do the subtraction, you get 0 0.062 if you take 0.448 and subtract it from, from 0 0.51. And if you divide that by 2, you get a margin of error of about 3.1%. So hopefully this helps you to understand the paradoxical situation that is going on here and that the margin of error doesn't depend on the size of the population, it depends on the size of the sample.